Automation sequences, or as they used to be called, autoresponders, are an amazing way for you to nurture relationships with your people. You can do that by onboarding new users that opt into your email list, delivering educational content like an e-course via email, sending emails after your folks on your list have visited specific URLs on your website, and so much more. In MailChimp, there are two kinds of automation sequences that you can set up. When you log into your dashboard, you want to click on Automation and Create Automation Workflow. First thing you want to do is you want to know what list your automation is going to go to. So you would come over here and you would select a list. And now we get to select a workflow. So in MailChimp, there are two different kinds of automation sequences that you can set up. The first kind of sequences are triggered by an action, and the other kinds are triggered by a date. You'd want to use the date triggered automation sequence to automatically send folks emails on important dates, like a happy birthday message or maybe a yearly renewal reminder message. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an action based automation sequence in MailChimp. You'll want to use an action based automation sequence to send that educational content like an online course or to follow up on a purchase or to welcome new subscribers. Did you know that people need to consume five pieces of content on average before they feel ready to make a purchase? It's true. So why don't we get started and set up a typical nurture sequence with five emails that welcomes new users to your list while delivering awesome value and giving them a chance to know you before they purchase your awesome products or services. So what we would call that is a welcome series. And like I said, there are many different templates that you can use for automation, and most of them are action-based. Um, you can choose the custom one to have that trigger based on a date. And um, things like this one here, date subscribed, is also a date-based one. Um, if you wanted to do a one-time event like a birthday message, you would need to make sure that you had that field on the list itself. So this list doesn't have a birthday field, so we couldn't really send out an email on the subscriber's birthday because we just don't know that. So let's create a welcome series. You would click select. Um, and now you would just name your workflow. So this is, you know, the nurture campaign. Nurture campaign for new subscribers. Um, you would set your name, your email address, and if you want to have um, an email every day with a report so you can see how the workflow is performing, you can select that. You can track opens, clicks, plain text clicks, um, Google Analytics link tracking, e-commerce link tracking, clicktail link tracking, goal tracking, and you can also track your stats in Salesforce or Hi-Rise. I always think it's really nice to personalize the two fields, so make sure you have the first name merge tag in there. And you always want to um, authenticate that email. So once you've done that, we're gonna click next. And this is where you select your trigger. So when do you want this automation sequence to start? So because this is a nurture sequence, we want this sequence to be triggered as soon as someone joins the list. So if they opt into the list, we want it to send this automation sequence. This triggered workflow is going to happen when people subscribe to the list. Now you can also select to trigger this workflow when people are imported to the list. So all imported subscribers will be added to the workflow. You can also add segmentation conditions if you've got segments. And you could also say to send the first email immediately to existing subscribers who meet the conditions. Let's say you're, you're doing a brand new nurture campaign and you've already got a large list and you wanna make sure that all of those loyal subscribers get that information that you've created for that new sequence, then you would check that one. What days should these emails be sent? That's up to you. Depends if you want to send them on just the weekdays or you want to send them on weekends as well. I have um, a nurture campaign where I don't send emails on Wednesdays because that's the day that I typically send out my weekly WordPress wink. So I wouldn't want my new users who just subscribed to my list to get bombarded with two or more emails in one day. So I never send them out on Wednesdays. 
At what time should emails be sent? Do you want them to be sent out as soon as possible? Or do you want them to be sent out at a specific time during the day? Or only between certain hours? As soon as possible usually works well if you've got an international audience. And on the next step, you're going to be configuring your emails. So what you can do here is you can add one email at a time or you can add a batch of five emails. So I find that it's um, easy just to add five emails and then you can go in and edit them individually. So I'll click add five emails. So now we can edit each of the individual emails themselves. And this is a really straightforward part. It's very much just like your normal editing um, in, in MailChimp. So you would click design email and it's the same thing. You do your email name, the subject, you would choose your template, and then you would start designing it. You would add images in your text and all of that good stuff. When you're finished with an email, you would click save and return to workflow. Now, this is one thing that I'd like to point out here. So this is where, um, how often that workflow is going to be triggered. So if you want, let's say you want this email to go out one day after the workflow is triggered, that means a subscriber opts into your list and the following day you want that email to go out, then you would change the delay and you would say one day after the workflow is triggered. Now I'm gonna apply that to all of them because in this workflow sequence, it's a welcoming message, so I want to send them out every day for five days. And then maybe on the fifth day, I'm going to offer a freebie or a gift to get, or maybe that's what I'm going to make my, my sales pitch. Um, and then I'm going to send a final email probably one week later that's going to follow up with whatever that gift to get or that pitch was. So if you want to change your delays on any of the other ones, you can do that. But maybe we would change the delay on the final one to seven days and click save. You can also add more emails here as well. And when you add a new email, it's going to take on the same properties of the email before it. So once you're finished, click next. And this is where you're going to confirm and you're going to start your workflow. Now I can't start it because I've got lots of um, <laughs> problems, one of them including the fact that the emails haven't been designed, but um, this is just to show you that once you're finished designing all your emails, you can click start workflow and that workflow will be completed. I hope you found this video useful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video useful, please share it on your social networks.